Good afternoon, everybody. It's Carrie from Carrie's Corner, and I hope you're doing well today. I have had a special request today from a few of my viewers that um, visit my Carrie's Corner and my KDS websites to do an in-depth video of my DIY office. Um, to talk about some of the special pieces and where I got them and if I did a DIY, what did I do? So I thought I would take this afternoon and do that for you. So I'm standing at my front door right now and you can see um, my entire office, including the back room, which is a storage room through that barn door, storage over here and a bathroom over here. Um, it is a storage room with files and then my bathroom has everything completed except the installation of the toilet and the septic system. So the bathroom is not actually finished yet. So I'm gonna avoid that area, but I can show you everything else and talk about the pieces. So the first thing I wanna talk about is my flooring. I got this from Lumber Liquidators on sale. It is a tile floor. Um, that looks like wood. And what I loved about it is it's all recycled materials. Um, and it's a floating floor, so it moves. So it's never gonna break um, based upon the temperature changes. And this this building is five, almost 600 square feet. And the floor cost me about $850 in materials. My husband and my son laid it. And so it goes all the way from the front, all the way through the back into the back storage area and into the bathroom. And I just absolutely love it. It's warranty too, it's a five year warranty. So that's even better. So we'll just kind of get started. Um, as you can see on the walls, it's all shiplap and it's all hand installed all the way around, even up on the ceiling. The ceiling is a white and the, the walls are a very soft pink. The only thing I haven't finished on the walls is we're putting some trim right here and I'm waiting on a special trim to come in that I don't have yet. So, so let's talk about the first thing about these little chairs. These chairs came from Office Depot, if you can believe it. I got two chairs on sale for $50 each many years ago when I opened my Allstate agency. So these chairs are uh, all, well, they're 11 years old and they have just done remarkably well. This little um, table over here, um, it was just a little beat up wooden table that had terrible paint all over it. So I stripped it back and put uh, chalk paint on it. And I did it a two-tone color because I wanted um, the accent color in my office. I obviously love pink and gray and white. That's the color of my logos, both of them. And so I try to accent with black whenever I can. Um, this entire building from the stud in is all DIY. So anything we didn't do was put the metal framing up um, and the concrete. Everything else uh, we did. So from the interior um, inward. These uh, blinds right now, these are just paper blinds and I am working on replacing those um, with a Waverly material, um, which I'm going to video for you. And it's a pull down roller blind that's already made and then you just glue your fabric to it. So I am working on that in the next couple of weeks. Um, this little table was, I think a Target find. It wasn't very much. Um, and it again was a white color and I just wanted it to kind of blend into the wall there. And um, so that's what that piece is. That little box down there is my mailbox. I'm waiting on my husband to put a metal um, post outside. Of course, I won't get mail there, it's just decorative, but I'm a girly girl and I love all that kind of stuff. This piece over here is probably one of my my favorite pieces in my office. It is an antique piece that my parents purchased in the late 60s when we moved to the United States from Australia. It's been in my family a very long time and it was very, very beat up. Uh, the wood was impossible to strip completely. 
And so what I decided to do, I didn't want to get rid of it because it has just so many sentimental memories. So what I did is I put a stripper on it the best that I could and then we came over and we sanded it with really fine sandpaper and then I primed it and then I painted it black. So it's it can it can only ever be painted because the original uh, finish on it just would not come off and my, both of my boys and my husband are woodworkers and it just it couldn't happen um, in the middle of course I replaced the old mirror with a picture of my son and his wife when they got married and then this material in here as you can see this is one of my Carrie's corners this is just a uh, plastic um, ceiling material and I just wanted to finish it out because there was mirrors there and I just could not get them uh, replaced to my liking. Let's go back up to the front here. Uh, this is this little piece was a target find and it just stores all of my old calendars because there's uh, for compliance reasons I have to keep all that stuff for 10 years. Um, when you're in this kind of insurance business, it's really important to keep your documentation. This, I love, this piece um, I found at a thrift store. It was in really good condition. It's probably one of the pieces I've paid the most for. I paid $200 for this, and what I loved so much about it was that I didn't have to paint it myself. It was already painted, and I just love the way they two-toned the gray um, because it just makes the pink that I love so much pop and I have of course my my gray accents a lot of these little things here for decorations for example obviously KDS are my initials that's the name of my insurance company but a lot of these things that you see that I've got on my walls come from Hobby Lobby and I never buy anything that's not on sale Absolutely adore that photo. Uh, of course, being in Texas, blue bonnets are the state flower, and so I absolutely adore that. Uh, this little piece also was from Hobby Lobby, and um, I just use it to store some things that are very sentimental to me. I store my notebooks down here that I'm going to be using next, so I know that I always have a supply to record my phone calls. I am a huge animal lover. I have a service dog, he's so dear to my heart. So I've got to put that. This is my mom's hotline. <laughs> the phone doesn't actually work, but I promised her that I would always have a phone at my desk available for the mom hotline. So if she ever needs to reach me, she can. And that's just a very sentimental um, old fashioned phone that I had when I was growing up and I just I just love it because it reminds me of the original one that I had of course I love my flowers I'm a very girly girl this piece here actually is a great piece uh, it is a locker and I love it because it's pink and it's very hard to find pink items that you can use that are functional and this one is so great because it stores a lot of my immediate supplies a lot of my daily operations stuff that I need um, all of my forms are, are there that is from uh, the container store these are Hobby Lobby that's Hobby Lobby I think this is from Overstocked I actually won that which is fantastic um, that is my desk that I got from Overstocked, and I didn't pay very much for that desk. I think I might have paid $180 for it, and it, it's, you know, it, it serves its purpose. That's a Hobby Lobby find that was brown, and I painted the inside gray and the outside pink, and it has very special uh, things that remind me of my um, oldest son who was a football player, college football player, and who now I do a lot of work with. He is a woodworker and um, he builds a lot of the custom pieces for Carrie's Corner. And so I keep that sentimental stuff there. 
<laughs> this is an old file cabinet and I just like the way that it looked actually and so what I did is I just took a piece of wood and I whitewashed it pink it's a pink wash basically and so it stores some supplies that I have and my camera equipment all my makeup because I of course do makeup videos too and so um, I store all that where I can get a hold of it and my pictures those I had printed uh, off of Etsy. Oh, Mira comes from Hobby Lobby. That was from Hobby Lobby. That was from TJ Maxx, I believe. Um, the curio cabinet was from Hobby Lobby. On sale, that piece was 400, almost $500, and I paid $110 for it on sale because there's a scratch on the back of it. And I was like, I don't care if it's a scratch, I'll put it up against the wall and nobody will ever notice. This piece down here, I'm so proud of this cabinet. My oldest son, Brian, um, who's not a football player, he's a paramedic, he built this for me and I absolutely love it. It's white oak and it just has this beautiful white whitewash to it that I absolutely adore. Of course, this is my coffee bar and my pantry. I keep all my food items out here. Um, the tile is press and sick tile. Again, you know, I just love to mix and match the farm decor with the shabby chic. I'm, I'm definitely a vintage person and I love, um, you know, the, the vintage vibe of things. I love the storage boxes. That's my other two kids, my daughter and my youngest son, Wayne, my daughter, Sam. And then a little sign. Carrie's Corner is actually um, the name of my mom's business that she had in the 70s. And so it's a second generation business, which I'm so very proud of. Um, this is one of my son Wayne's woodworking pieces. Of course, my initials, my company name, and that's obviously a little dog bone for my dog, service dog, Duke. And I love this actually. This is my sink and I just loved it because it was a flower and I thought well, so appropriate for my little farmhouse office. And I get so many compliments on that. Both of those pieces came from Overstock and they were on sale. If I'm not mistaken, uh, the, the sink was about $115, I believe. This was on sale for $75, which is a phenomenal find because those are not inexpensive. The wood pieces, they're just this plain pine that I, again, pink washed. And then these corbels were from Hobby Lobby. Um, the little chandelier up there, um, I ordered from Overstock. The barn door kit came from Amazon and it's... Um, Great find, it came, um, not the wood itself, the wood we got, I believe from Home Depot, but the hardware from Amazon um, was a really good price too. This little piece was an antique piece that I've had for years and years, and it was used in um, my kids, grandkids nursery, and I decided that I wanted to get it for out here. So it stores a lot of the things that I need um, envelope, bigger envelopes and you know, that sort of stuff. I love these little lights when I saw them, they've got pink chandeliers on them. Uh, they're not real bright. And so what I had to do for fire is I had to pull the middle ones up so they wouldn't melt just to make sure that there's no fire hazard um, with them because putting a night light in them just does not give me enough light. So I had to be very careful and make sure that I used, was smart about it. This is a Hobby Lobby find. That's just this, a metal filing cabinet. That's Hobby Lobby as well. Uh, my files over here, that's Hobby Lobby. These are just the same prints that I have in the front of the office. That's my video equipment. Little pink chair came from uh, Amazon. And this desk actually is my dad's old desk that he's had for years and years. And I um, painted it, chalk painted it. 
and made it look distressed. So this is a extra filming area. And when I have part-time employees, this is when this is where they work from. And so that's a view of the back. The fans we got from um, Home Depot, I believe, and the little lights up there that we got, which are dimmable, are also from um, Hobby Lobby. And that's it, guys. One thing I wanted to talk about was this over here. I know that's terribly unsightly, but it's a good thing to think about if you're going to be building and using one of these units. We're having all sorts of problems with the Freon lines in it. We bought it brand new a year ago, and the manufacturer's warranty does not supposedly cover the piping for the Freon. And so it works, but what's happening is I'm getting a leak. We had a, we had a gentleman come out, he looked at it, he refilled it. I had to pay another $650. It's only a year old. So I have spent $1,700 on this unit and it is still leaking. And I, we were just stumped. So if you watch this and you have any experience with these units, please send me a message because we just at this point are not sure what to do. So when I have it running, I have to put this towel here to prevent it from destroying my whole wall. As you can see right there, I've got some drippage that has caused a break in the, in the paint. And so um, I have to redo this once I get my window shades all up. And then this little tray, uh, I got I just wanted something to kind of break up the back of the desk and so that I can actually use as a table to eat on because it actually goes up and down um, and so that's a I think we got that from overstock.com so anyways that's my little office it's my big duke it, it's his bed when he's out here with me um, that's my work area and that's the front so I hope this answers all your questions. If it didn't, um, ladies, please let me know. And I'm, I'm happy to address those questions uh, individually. But um, this is where Carrie's Corner and KDS Insurance Services is housed and where all I do all of my work. So thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for your support and uh, your viewership. I do appreciate it. I know we're all busy and I, um, I'm very happy to film this special request video. So God bless and have a wonderful day. Don't forget, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell so you know the next time I post a video. God bless everybody.